So as soon as the live starts, here we have Aaliyah in the comments talking about how the reactor said they were going to be in her live stream. And I'm just thinking to myself, yeah, I'm going to be there. I'm going to definitely be there. I watch all her other videos. What's the difference? If I react on her channel, why wouldn't I be there when she's doing live call-ins? That didn't make no sense. So somebody in the comments named Jerry told Jasmine that she needs to make sure that whoever is trying to get on shows their face before she lets them on. And this is what she had to say. Before people call in, make them show their face before adding them. Um, I was thinking about doing that, but some people just don't like to show their face. Like, or honestly, like, some people like, oh, I look a mess. <laughs> I feel it. Like, people like, I look a mess. I don't want to show my face. So I feel that. They did clarify and say that they can actually let the person show themselves backstage, not to the whole live chat, and then she'll be able to put them on the screen. So the first question was, do you consider flirting cheating? Now, Jasmine said yes, and then she explained that why would her man need to flirt with somebody else when they can just do it with her? Whatever they want to do with somebody else, they could just do it with her. A lot of people in the comments were saying yes, but one person said it depends on what kind of flirting it is. Let me know y'all's opinion in the comment section. Do you consider flirting cheating? If Chris cheated on you, would you stay with him? <laughs> that is an interesting question because I, I spoke on the cheating situation. Um, as far as my life in the past, I don't think I can go back to that again. I've been cheated on before. And honestly, I have nothing to worry about because he is not going to cheat on me. And I can honestly say that. Jasmine didn't even try to answer that question. She is really confident that Chris would never, ever cheat on her. Yes! I mean, it, it, for me, it's cheating because if I'm with my husband and can you flirt with someone in my presence? You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Anything that your spouse or your partner cannot do in front of you. It's it's not right. It's not good, you know, for the relationship. So I, I think so. I actually agree with what she's saying. I think she made a great point in saying when the person is flirting and they're doing it behind your back, obviously that's gonna cause an issue. The next question was, should couples have joint accounts? Now I think they should have worded this differently because in the live, she does say she meant to say married couples. It seems like it could be any type of couple, dating, whatever. But she says she meant married, but then she says this. He was like, we should, everything should be in one account, but I'm the type of person, I'd be buying random stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't want to be like, why are you buying random stuff? He, he was like, I'm not going to tell you, like, why are you buying random stuff? Because I like to just buy random stuff. Random stuff off of Amazon. And he'll be like, what's coming? Why, why is this coming out? <laughs> so that's why I think we should have three accounts you know when we get married that way the way jasmine put that it seems like chris does have access to her bank account even though she says later in the live that she's never had a joint account with a boyfriend but it sounds like she does have some type of account where he has access to because why would he then need to ask why is this money coming out of the account you know what i mean i mean what, what you know as far as the account situation like i don't know i just I've never had that. I never ever had a joint account with anybody, even just being in a relationship or anything. So I just never, I guess I just never thought like, okay, everything, y'all are one, y'all both do everything together as far as even money type things, you know what I'm saying? But it's a work in progress for me. <laughs> so I actually think it was great that Jasmine had two married women on the panel to talk to her about bank accounts and how they should go. One of the women did say that she doesn't have a separate bank account. All of them go to, all the money goes to one account and that's what they use. The other lady in the bottom said that she does have a separate account from her husband and they also have a joint account. I personally do not think Jasmine should allow Chris access to her finances. He should not have any access to her bank account, credit cards, whatever she has, because they're not even married yet and you don't really know if he's going to marry you. So until he actually walks you down that aisle, keep it separate, but that's just my opinion. Before we came alive, I actually talked to Chris and I asked him these questions, right? Just the other. <laughs> so I asked him these questions. I kind of wish he was on the panel with us because that would have been interesting. Um, so y'all can hear him, his side, a man's side on how he feels about things like that. Something told me that these questions had something to do with Chris. As you can see in that last clip, she says she asked Chris all of these questions and she wishes he was on the panel so everybody could hear a guy's point of view. Of course, of course, this is where she got these questions from. And they all have something to do with cheating. Of course, Jasmine answers this question by saying that she wants to know everything. Every password to the phone, every social media password, she needs to know everything. All their secrets, she needs to know it. 
And she says this because in her past relationship, obviously with Philip, he was hiding a lot of things in his phone and she says she found it. I find it interesting that Jasmine said this because later in the live, she did say that she has healed from her past relationship. She says she hasn't forgotten, but she has healed. But the statements that she's making in this video, it doesn't seem like she healed to me. She's actually just bringing her insecurities from one relationship to the next. Jasmine also made a comment in this live stream that she does not think her partner should find other women attractive. And I'm thinking, what is he supposed to do? Walk around with his eyes closed? There's going to be other attractive women that he's going to be around, but that doesn't mean he's automatically going to cheat on you because he thinks they're attractive. So the other woman, she answered the question by saying this. It's twice times. God forbid, but you know, just, just an example. If I kill someone, I wouldn't tell him. You know what I mean? Because then he's an accomplice. Yeah. yeah I mean, so if it's... So, so I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Murder. Uh-uh. <laughs> she can think of a better example. Okay. Now, I do understand that she was saying she doesn't want to tell her husband a secret that could get him in trouble. So if she did, you know, murder somebody, she would keep it a secret and turn herself in instead of telling her husband because he would then look like an accomplice. Which I understand her point, but wow. Another question they asked was, do you think your spouse or your partner watching pornography is cheating? And Jasmine did say that she believes it's cheating if they're watching it without them, but if they want to watch it together, then it's not cheating. Another question was, have you been cheated on by a partner and how did you handle it? Of course, Jasmine speaks about her relationship with Philip, and when she found out he was cheating, she said she did everything to keep the relationship together because her parents did divorce and she never wanted that for her children so she would try to lose weight talk to him and just try to be something that she wasn't i remember videos from when she first had kaylin and she dropped weight really fast she did tell the camera that it was because philip did not find her attractive anymore and she wanted to lose weight for him it was really sad actually he made it seem like she had just gotten so big and he wasn't attracted to her anymore so she lost the weight obviously now we're finding out that she was doing that losing weight, trying to talk to him, trying to change because she had found out he was cheating and she didn't want their family to be broken up. I think it's so crazy that Philip was acting like that back then and now to see him in a relationship with a bigger woman. How crazy is that? Yeah, and also with my husband, um, I brought four kids that were not his um, into our, our marriage. My husband did not have any kids at all. So he became a stepdad. That's kind of what happened um, with my kids with my husband. He, he, did, he did that. He, he ended up adopting them. I wanted to show y'all that clip because this woman said that her and her husband have been together for 35 years. He had no children. She brought four kids into the relationship. He adopted her kids and she ended up cheating on him. I feel bad for that man because imagine he's taking care of her children that are not his. He doesn't even have any kids. He decided to marry her and she cheats on him. Now she says that he did actually cheat on her too after she cheated on him as something like a revenge thing but she does say that they went to their church pastor they got some counseling and they're good now so she ends up saying that they do trust each other now and then she says he has a diary that he writes in every day and she snuck and read it and he said in the diary that he trusts his wife i think he knows that you're sneaking in there and looking at what he's writing and that's probably why he wrote that now let's get into why i think live is messy or was being messy when she called into Jasmine's live. Now, there were a lot of people calling into the live and saying like she doesn't feed her kids and Chris is a cheater and he's with trainees or whatever. He likes men. There were a lot of people saying stuff like that. And Jasmine would quickly dismiss them and then she would block them so that they couldn't come back up. So then Liv decides to get on there and ask Jasmine this. I wanted to ask you, Jazz. Like, how do you feel? Because I see everyone calling in and asking these dumb questions. But, like, how do you feel about, like, everyone talking mess about Chris the way they do online? And they don't even know him. Like, they try to put out a bad representation of him, but they don't even know him. Like, how does that make you feel? Now, to me, this was a ridiculous question because Liv and Jasmine have each other's phone number. And Liv already knows how Jasmine feels about it. This is something that they could have talked about off live. But for her to get on there and ask that question after Jasmine was trying not to give energy to people that were talking about Chris, it didn't make any sense. It was very messy. Of course, Liv has no business giving anybody relationship advice. <laughs> and she can't really say much about that, but she could have at least picked one of the questions that they were talking about 
and just talk about one of her failed relationships. I mean, you could have at least done that so that you can support the live instead of just bringing your own question. People were not supposed to get on and ask Jasmine questions. Jasmine was asking the questions. Y'all have to let me know what you thought of Jasmine's live. What did you think about all the questions that were asked? Do they have something to do with Chris? Did you think Liv was being messy when she asked that question to Jasmine? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will definitely see you in the next one.